Good evening, Dr. Viraj. Are you ready to start? Can we start? Yes, yes sir. sir. Go right ahead. Okay, fine. Thank you. Okay, uh, good evening. My name is uh, Viraj Mahatme, and uh, this session is about uh, publishing a book, predominantly an ebook, but uh, I'll also touch upon how you can pul uh, publish a print book uh, through either Amazon or uh, some other platforms. So, uh, just a brief introduction about myself. I'm Viraj Mahatme, and uh, I have uh, published uh, four books. The genre is, uh, you know, children's. It's a they are children's book. Uh, some of them, three of them out of the four are picture books. Uh, I published them on Amazon Kindle. The first book took me about a month to understand the basics. Later on, you know, it became easy. So I just want anyone who is aspiring to do so, I just want to walk through some of the steps. Now, the best part about KDP is that if you go on the KDP's page, just about everything is mentioned. But before you go there, a few points, if you know, it will make the journey uh, easier. Okay, so we'll start. Uh, excuse me, doctor. Yes. Uh, could you present your screen in full screen mode? At the moment, we can see the slides on the left. Uh, one minute. Okay, I have an issue. If I go to... Uh, I can guide you with that. Yeah. If you... Uh... Put on the slideshow, then mm -hmm. you'll be not you'll not be able to see any other controls. So for that, I, you need to press the Windows key. The what key? Uh, Windows Windows key, Windows key on your keyboard. Ah, beside okay, the space one. bar. Yeah, Just and after that, me. come to the browser and share it. Okay, so first, of course, uh, I do full screen. Yeah, then press the Windows key. Okay, fine. And then press the Windows key and come to the browser where you have your Google Meet open. Uh, 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 okay. Okay. Now uh, stop presenting, presenting and then yeah. Present again. Yeah. Now present again and select the full screen yes. window. Okay. Full screen. Okay. Just a <laughs> You can select the window which is actively showing the slideshow right now. Yes. Now you can see. Yeah, perfect. Okay, fine. So let's move ahead. Uh, which means I won't be able to, when I'm presenting, uh, I won't be able to see anything in the chat, right? No, no. Right, fine, fine, fine. Okay. So uh, a little bit about, though this is uh, Amazon KDP is uh, a self-publishing platform, a little bit about uh, traditional and uh, self-publishing. Uh, so now in traditional and self-publishing, in both the cases, you are the author. Okay, there is something in between which is hybrid. Maybe we look at it uh, when we come at the end of the questions. Now in traditional, someone else is the publisher and here you are the publisher. Now let us understand this very clearly. When someone else is the publisher, 
and who can be the publishers presently the indian scene is something like this okay so in the traditional space these are some of the uh, famous names and if you see down below you know the ones in red tata magro hill pentis hall they are also in the traditional uh, space but they are more in uh, you know education books and things like that scholastic also is in education but the remaining are more into uh, fiction as well as non fiction penguin for example is in fiction as well as non fiction most of them are but tata magro hill pentis hall are more in education so if any one of you is looking to print those type of books maybe you can contact them on the self publishing side <clears throat> you have amazon kdp which has approximately 80% of the market share now this is for ebooks okay now apart from there you have ibooks which is of apple you have another platform called as kobo which is quite famous in uh, germany and then of course you have uh, google books and then also you have something called as print on demand now i'll spend some 2 minutes over here what is this print on demand now generally when you publish a book and you want to print it out you go to some particular person some printer and you will get the book published i mean book printed okay so when you do that the printer obviously will not print one book because it would be uh, uh, very expensive so he'll ask you to publish maybe whatever is is uh, minimum 100 copies 200 copies but when it comes to print on demand this is a different technology which means when some customer orders they will print just one book now the trade off is that the book will be little expensive but then in the normal scene where you have to print get it from a printed 100 200 copies and you have to keep the stock with you at your home that does not happen okay that headache is gone whoever orders this particular book from amazon or any other uh, website will just get one particular book so this is something we have to understand the difference between traditional and uh, you know print on demand let me go back so the second point second line is very important someone else is the publisher so as we saw over there penguin and scholastic and rupa and you are the publisher so in kdp this point is extremely important that you are the publisher which means everything that you would do as an author and then pass it on when you send the manuscript to penguin and whatever penguin does after that in self publishing you are expected to do that so as an author i will write my manuscript write my book if it's a big book maybe the norm is you send three chapters to the publishers the publishers will go through it and after they go through it if they like it they will accept you sign an agreement and then whatever they do after that is is something that they will do as per their standards which includes things like whatever editing a book size uh, illustrations everything that has to be done for the success of that book is done by a traditional publisher now this responsibility is yours in self publishing now i'm stressing on this point because let's face it self publishing is very easy so if you put up a manuscript on amazon kindle amazon will just do spell check it does nothing else so just anyone can put any type of manuscript over there amazon will say welcome but the responsibility of fine tuning that script and everything all the decisions that are required which will touch upon as we go ahead all these things have to be executed by you so kindle calls you kindle preneur so you are an entrepreneur you are a kindle entrepreneur 
so when you're an entrepreneur you have to do everything okay of course kindle helps a little bit so we'll touch upon it a little later but this is basically the difference because sometimes self-publishing can look very exciting because it's very easy but then there is some good amount of work okay so this is the scene over here so i will show you something is about print on demand and all later but this is the scene as far as traditional and self-publishing there's something called as hybrid which which will look afterwards now when we publish okay uh these are some of the decisions that we have to make so first is book size now uh any book that we publish has to be in a particular size so when we read for example this is not a decision that we make but when we write this is a decision that we have to make so if you go on amazon.in and you google any particular book we generally look at the book we look at the ratings we look at the comment we look at the price and we order but if you scroll down maybe you know one or two pages you will get the books information so you will get the books you know identification number pages and then apart from other things you will also get the book size so when i say the book size it will be either in centimeters or inches amazon.com if you go it will be in inches amazon.in is in centimeters now why is this size important if your book for example on amazon.com you can publish as an ebook as well as a print paperback now paper comes in particular size they come in large sheets so typical most you know uh, used size is 5 inches into 8 inches so these are chosen because when the paper is cut for that particular size, it's the optimum use of that large sheet. So publishing is a lot about reducing costs. So there are certain standard sizes. Tomorrow when you go to publish on Amazon.in, uh, you will find a list of sizes that Amazon says these are the sizes that you can uh, that you can uh, uh, use and we have to stick to that now illustrations your book may or may not have illustrations my first book had just two illustrations the remaining three books have a lot of illustrations now this decision of illustrations the size so when you send for example your manuscript to any of the publishers the generally the publishers will say do not send any illustrations because the publishers have their own idea of how they want the scenes to be depicted so they have their own bank of uh, illustrators they will send to them you may interact with them they may allow you to interact i have not yet done a publishing a traditional publishing though i have attended sessions by commissioning editors of uh, uh, things like Scholastic and uh, Penguin. So they have given this idea. So illustrations is again your responsibility. Book cover, very important. Everyone, all the authors say that your book cover has to be catchy. So this is also the same illustrator whom you have engaged can do the book cover for you. In my case, it was always done for all the four books, the same illustrator did the same uh, did the covers okay and last pricing now as far as pricing is concerned once you try to once you get into kdp uh, and we will see ahead uh, amazon helps you in pricing it shows you your book how much it is going to cost for them to manufacture and now you set up on the prices they will not stop you so if the book cost is 150 rupees and you want to put 600 they will not stop you but then it is up to you you have to look at the market and uh, uh, decide whether market will absorb this price that you wish to put now on the book 
Now, please see the, all these decisions over here, okay, in traditional publishing are taken care by the publisher. So you will not have a say. So uh, two of my stories, they came in anthologies. One was by Fundisa Orian, and the second was by Scholastic Quill Club writers. They did not consult us anything about book size, nothing. Everything was decided uh, by them. Now you as self-publisher, you have to take care of all these issues. So that is the work that you have to do. Now the plus and minuses. In traditional, there is less royalty. The royalty can generally vary. The royalty from 5% to 20% for the top shots. Okay, those who sell 75,000 books and above, that can up to about 20%. But if you are starting, it may be four or five uh, percent because publishing has a lot of costs. In self-publishing, especially ebooks, Amazon gives two slots, 35% royalty and 70% royalty. So it looks attractive. Okay. So a lot of people go in over there, but then there are other things. Now, as far as the market reach are concerned. The market reach of traditional publishers is massive, okay, as compared to you. Now, if you are a brand, for example, Kabir Bedi launched his book, uh, I think about two months back. Now, Kabir Bedi is a brand. Many people know him. He can afford to do the self-publication because his brand is there. He, he did not choose to go that route, but he can. Okay, and then he can claim, you know, higher royalty. But that is the market rich that has come in because of his brand. Uh, everyone, for example, I don't have such a big uh, brand value. So I would be really interested in the traditional publishing because it has a substantial amount of reach. I mean, not substantial. If you look at it, it's, it's massive as compared to what an individual author will have. And that is the reason why most authors try to get a publishing contract with established uh, uh, publishing houses. It's a long route in the sense that if you send, we'll just look at it a little later, knowledge of the market that they have is also tremendous across different genres, what type of books sell now, last year, two years before that, as an individual person, you are more author, you are more focused on writing and the marketing uh, perspective takes a uh, backstage. Okay, so I would love to get a traditional uh, uh, publishing contract because the entire headache, of course, you would have to go around maybe doing some promotion, but the entire headache is taken over by the traditional publisher. The prestige is very high. In self-publishing, relatively, so if this doesn't affect you, okay, you can choose self-publishing. But I am on some author groups and, you know, in their WhatsApp, uh, whatever, when you open their WhatsApp uh, profile, they will put over there, you know, uh, Penguin published author or Scholastic published author or things like that. So obviously, why is that prestige high? Because... Everyone knows that when I'm buying a Scholastic book, a book or a Bloomsbury book, I know that they have done enough work on that script. You know, I will not have some grammatical mistakes. I will not have, you know, the quality will be very high so that I will not be disappointed. So they put you through, the your book goes through many, many processes before it, it is launched in the market. So they get maybe 100 manuscripts and one is uh, chosen. The best is chosen for the market. So if you get a contract with a traditional publishing house, the prestige is high. Self-publishing, you know, it is not uh, uh, high. Having said that, there's a very famous author called as Sundari Venkataraman. And she started writing like me at the age of 52. And uh, her genre is uh, uh, romantic. She writes uh, uh, romantic uh, novels and she started her career purely on amazon kindle it took its time it took its time to stabilize a few years but now today it's a different story altogether 
So today, traditional publishers are giving her contract. So some of our books are now also traditionally published. They have approached. Why? Because now they know that her she has established her name herself. She took the, uh, you know, she spent the time to do it. And uh, now it's a different story. So it doesn't matter. So for example, tomorrow, if Ruskin Bond decides to self-publish, there is no question of prestige because his name is already uh, established. Very small number is accepted. So uh, if you if you send your uh, manuscript to uh, Penguin, so this particular commissioning editor whom we interacted with, <clears throat> she said that they read their emails as far as this manuscript subscription is concerned once in three months. In once in three months, they will just go through all the submissions, whatever attracts their you know, attention, they will choose. Then they will go through it to see if this is sellable. Okay. Now, in self-publishing, everything is accepted. This is the wonderful part of it as well as the dangerous part of it. Because if the quality is not up to the mark, and I will give you an example. There was this lady who published and their stories about Kashmir. Now, this was traditionally published by probably. Uh, by probably uh, hello. Hello. Yeah, sorry, that was a technical glitch. Okay, okay. So, this book was about uh, stories of Kashmir. It was traditionally published by a not very reputed uh, uh, publisher. And if you see the first comment on the, uh, on the uh, Amazon review, it was hugely negative. Now, the thing is, we are Indians. We think more in our native languages. Uh, we might not be extremely good at the language manifestation as far as English is concerned. So it is responsibility of the uh, publisher to ensure, you know, through editing and things like that, that the book comes up to the standard. Okay. Now, uh, uh, one rupee stories or half rupee stories. This is a book by Gulzar. So in that Gulzar has written that he wanted a particular editor for his stories. And he said that if that particular editor was not there, he would not have done the book. So editing is extremely, extremely important. So I'm just warning because, you know, self-publication is very exciting. You, if you know a little bit of basics of the computer part, you can immediately publish a book. But then there are these are the things that we got to be careful about. Now we come to the manuscript. So we generally type, most of the people type in Word. Okay. So I'm assuming that manuscript is over. Now we are focusing on editing. I will give you an example of what happened to me. I wrote a particular story and I sent it to an editor. <clears throat> now in the book, in the story, there was a situation wherein uh, this one child, the protagonist, okay, at 7.30 in the morning, okay, he goes out on a rescue mission and he hears the owl hoot. Now, this is what I had written from my mind. In my mind, it was always that I was hooted. So she, immediately my editor, uh, you know, responded and she said that I was hooting at 7.30, not possible. Okay. Uh, I just a small interruption. I stay in the funnel zone near airport. So there might be a plane going. I'll just stop a minute. So uh, she said you research on, uh, in fact, she only gave the inputs. So there are three types of owls. There are uh, owls, which we generally know who operate in the night. There are day owls, a few of them, and there are diurnals or something like that, which only operate at dawn and dusk. So at 7.30, maybe the dawn person might, dawn owl might still be there. Now she said that those owls who are there at that particular point of time, they do not hoot. So she gave me 
uh, address a particular university who does a lot of research into birds. It's based in US. So I had to go there. I had to research which birds, uh, which owls operate at that time, 730. And they also have bird calls on their website. So I had to go over there, listen to their uh, uh, voice of the listing. It turned out to be a screech. So then I had to change from hoot to screech. So these are the things that, you know, will uh, small, small things which will go. So the particular book went through three or four rounds of editing from my side and three rounds of editing from the particular editor's uh, side. So it's extremely important that you uh, go through editing. As far as your spell check is concerned, that is not really so much of a problem. You have uh, Grammarly and you have Pro Writing Aid. The free versions of it are quite good for uh, you know spell checks. Grammar, you have to be careful because you may wish to write, especially in India, you may write, write to write the way we converse. Okay. And if you write it that way, you know, their grammar will say grammatically, this is wrong, but then you have to accept, no, sorry, uh, this is the way I wish to go ahead with it. Okay. So for example, instead of sir in South Indian language, if you want to put, you may put sar, S-A-A-R, immediately they will reject, but you have to persist with that. So this is something that uh, you have to focus on editing. You can't escape this. Illustrations and cover, as I said, you have to catch hold of a, a lot of illustrators are available on Instagram and you can contact them. Uh, the, some of them will send you a free sample if, if at all your book is the one that carries illustrations. If it does not carry illustrations, there's no problem. Okay. Now, this is something which is called as International Standard Book Number, ISBN. Okay. Uh, for ebooks, this is not required. Okay, you can Google uh, a little bit. Raja Ram Manohar Law, uh, Roy uh, Agency is the one that is designated for India to issue out these uh, ISBNs. Okay. For print book, you can take an ISBN. So for out of my four, for three, I have taken an ISBN. The last one I did not bother because somehow that site was down and was not giving me. And I wanted to launch the book before Christmas. And uh, you have to give at least one month for this process. So if you finish the book today and you're all ready, please don't apply for ISBN after that. Okay. And, you know, for some, some event, you know, uh, there's in your family, you know, you want to release it on a birthday and you finish the book 10 days before birthday, then don't, don't start applying for ISBN because, you know, it doesn't come out uh, so soon. I think my first ISBN I got after about 25 days. Okay, so you got to do this uh, as soon as possible. If you wish to go through print on demand, so there are many in India. I have chosen Notion Press, there is putti.com and there are a lot of them they always give their ISBN. So you don't have to bother. They will not accept your ISBN. They accept your ISBN only if you take some package. I have gone for the free package. So if they have some packages which are in thousands of rupees, only then you are allowed to put your own ISBN. Okay. So the first thing is, now the first part was everything about uh, your manuscript and things like that. Now we have, we have to look at Kindle desktop publishing. Okay. So when you go to Google, we can just type create KDP account. So when you do that, a few things that we have to watch out for, I will also show you the website after I get out of this uh, uh, presentation. Now, uh, when we, uh, when you try to do this, Amazon will say, login with your present amazon account okay now many of us do not have strong passwords okay you have an email id and you have a password so the password may not be strong enough now when you open a kdp account you will be giving your bank details and things like that because your royalty is going to come to your account so please ensure that your you 
I would suggest that you create a separate account. Okay, maybe, you know, separate email ID, whatever your name is that author. So if your name is uh, Peter, Peter author at gmail.com or whatever, and you create a separate account with a very strong uh, password. Okay. Now the name that you should put in over here has to tally with your bank account. Okay. Uh, so for example, my name in my bank is V double E R A J Govind Mahatme. However, I write all my books as V I R A J. I do not write as V double E R A J. So V I R A J is my pen name. And this is accepted when you publish. But when you are opening your account, you have to be careful that, you know, your pen name, pen card name, your uh, bank name, your your name, they all tally. There should not be any confusion. Okay. So you have to, of course, give your name, strong tax details. Okay. I think they asked for a uh, pen card address. I'm not sure whether they had asked. Now, typically, whenever we want to create an account, for example, on Amazon and all, basically, you give your email, put a password, and an account is created. It does not happen in KDP. See, this is like a contract that you are signing with KDP. Okay, you are going to publish your books through KDP, and KDP, once your books sell, KDP is going to give you royalty. Okay, so they will take a few days, maybe two to three days. Then they might they will send you some, uh, you know, tax agreement, which you have to accept. This is uh, all your uh, KDP accounts are basically you can log in through Amazon.in, but they are formed on Amazon.com. Okay, so this this is related to creating your account. So after you create your account, we have to wait for them to accept you. Okay, and bank details, of course. So bank name, uh, IFSC code, all those things we have to put in over there. This is a one time activity. Once you finish this then you don't have to go back to it, okay? Afterwards, you just go in uh, into KDP and do everything else, which we'll look into when we look at the website. Now, <clears throat> very important decision. Uh, if, you, if you have read books on Kindle, okay, you will notice Kindle has a feature, okay? So if you see over here, this is Ruskin Bond's Cookie Song, Cookie Song book. I do not know that if, if you can see on top, there is a capital A and there is a small a. Okay. So in your Kindle, the ebook, when you read, if you click on that, you can change the size. So I want to read this in something bigger. I can change the size. This. So on your right, you will see that I have increased the size. Now, what happens with this is if you have a picture somewhere in your book and you know you haven't you haven't been careful, then as the size increases, if you see over here, see where it ends, the left flowable Koki song where it's seen, but towards evening the. But if you see on the right hand side, it ends somewhere shorter, somewhere earlier. So page numbers and all do not have any meaning in flowable books. So if your books are the type which have very less illustrations, like my first book has almost just two illustrations, rest all of it is written matter. So if you're writing a novel, best is to go for a flowable option. Okay, where you have to show this, do this, I will show afterwards. Wherein if your reader changes, the size of the book automatically Kindle adjusts the number of pages. So you don't have to bother. Okay. So you have to decide whether it is going to be flowable or fixed. This is a major decision right at the beginning. Now, if you see, this is my book. Now imagine, look at the third paragraph. Minky got scared as Blaze wagged this tail. He stared at her and she turned pale. Now, if someone increases the size of this, what will happen is the third paragraph will flow onto the next page and the illustration on the next page will flow onto the next, the third page. Now, I do not, it will look very shabby. Now, I do not want my children readers to have that sort of experience. So the left-hand side comes on one page, 
the right hand side comes on one page it is fixed it cannot be shifted okay so this is one decision that we have to make now this is something that i had touched upon i will show you these sizes once i come out of this presentation so you have to research independently okay in terms of what sort of book you have so if it's a, a coffee table book then you have to google what is normally a coffee table book size is 8.5 into 8.5 inches is generally accepted for illustrated books picture illustrations 8.5 my last book is 8.5 into 11 that has its own reasons why i have done this so this is a very important decision so if you look at one arranged murder by uh, Chetan Bhagat, his la latest book, that's approximately five inches into eight inches. Most of the books, novels, okay, are five inches into eight inches around that, okay. So this is a decision that you have to take. Now, why is this decision important? Because the size leads to change in number of pages. Number of pages leads to difference in cost. Okay, so this is something that you will have to look into now as far as fonts this is another very big topic again you have to research because in this uh, 45 minutes i won't be able to tell this but generally we normally use uh, times roman okay or calibri when we type but generally in uh, books you will not find these fonts these are science serif, Yaramon, Century School Books are, you know, uh, I personally use Century School Book uh, uh, font. Uh, so you can choose. Uh, there is a, uh, if you Google it, there is a big, uh, you know, theory to this in terms of the gaps between the two letters in different fonts. And uh, which font is acceptable by children, which font is acceptable by elders. So you have to see which who will be your readers. And as per that, you have to see. Now, if you look at Harry Potter's books, uh, a good number of them are 11 size. So your eyes hurt a bit. Okay, 12 size is what we generally use. And 14 size is for children, but 12 size is... Uh, mostly used for uh, elders now if you are doing a print ebook uh, uh, the size for ebook look at what i have mentioned 18 20 22 these are the sizes for ebooks and i will now show you what it means now this is my book see my print book how it looks okay this is 14 font and the one on the right is 24 font now why i will come back to this slide by showing you the next slide this is a book called catching stars and i was very disappointed when i bought this book now, what has happened is the way they had formatted the print book, they have put it up exactly the same way up as an ebook. So I have exactly put my screen. This is a screenshot of my mobile. And just see, you cannot even read the, I mean, every page I will have to expand with my fingers to be able to read the words below. So please do not, you know, you have to be very careful uh, with this, okay, that we do not, whatever. So if I was to do it in this font of print book and I was to upload the same manuscript for my ebook, I would have problems. My readers would not be able to read it on my mobile, on their mobiles or on their, uh, you know, Kindle readers or uh, tablets. So you have to work on this very, very important thing that you have to pay attention to. Okay. So this is something I learned. I mean, this book helped me to learn that, you know, this is not uh, something I should do. So now if you see, this is my book. Okay. The last book. 
So you can read over here. So that's about 20 font with a tear in his eye. So you can read that particular whatever is the matter, even on a mobile or a tablet or whatever. Very, very important. I'm sure, you know, if you write a book and your readers see this, there's no chance they are going to recommend your book. Okay. In fact, you will get very negative comments for this ebook. Okay. So this is very important. So these are the sizes for ebooks. They have to be a little uh, larger for them to be read. And for print, you can go for the lower versions. Okay. Now I have spoken a lot about all these things, you know, but uh, there is a wonderful solution to all these things. You know, how do we manage this? How do we manage this size? And that entire thing is a software called as Kindle Create Software. Now it works for Windows 10 and above. So obviously the question is, what if I have Windows 7? You don't have to bother. Uh, just a minute, a huh? plane is going by, just a minute. You do not have to bother because you can see a preview of your books on this. So if you have anything less than Windows 10, you do everything in your Windows 8, Windows 7, whatever, then just go on a pen drive with that to a friend's house who has Windows 10, download the Windows uh, Kindle Create software, and then it's just about an hour's work. You get that Kindle Create file and come back. So because of the fact that you do not have uh, Windows 10, uh, you do not have to worry about it. Uh, so, uh, so if you want to learn about KDP, okay, you can just type this, build your book on KDP, format a book on KDP, and you'll get a lot of menu. We will all go over there. I mean, on this presentation, it cannot be seen. So, yes, that's the end of it. I will just stop sharing. Uh, should I take any questions at this moment? Yeah, if you wish to, you can take the questions. Yeah, because before we go, because because this is a little technical topic, you know, you might have questions at this point. So uh, otherwise, going ahead, one might uh, forget some of these things. So if anyone has any questions, you can ask. Um, this this is Owen. I, I had a question. Thanks, thanks, Viraj. Um, uh, the question I had was on the the KDP uh, publish uh, ebook. Uh, yes. Ebook format. Um, are you able to um, expand uh, the reach outside India? Uh, and how does that work? You know, the international KDP. Okay, so KDP book when it is uh, uh, published, you can make it available across. You know, if it's obviously in English, then uh, most readers will be in Indian market, US, Canada, uh, UK and Australia. OK, you will also have readership in Brazil. So when you publish your KDP book, it is available across. The only decision that you have is pricing it across different markets. So while Amazon says it is available ebook across all the markets, the pricing decision, it asks you to price. So you get right from, you know, you know, from Amazon.com to all those things will come down when you go inside KDP. So if you say, you know, Amazon.com and $3, Amazon.com will simply convert the price across. If you want something separate, you can price it individually. But your book goes across entire uh, the market, across the world. Marketing, yes, that's the that's something that we have to work on as uh, self-published uh, authors. 
So it's good that you can you can pick one price point and it does the conversion for you across. Absolutely. Markets. Yeah. I will show. I will. I will open up my own account and then show. Viraj, I think there are some questions in the message box. Okay. Uh, would you like me to read out the questions? Uh, yeah, fine. All right. So, first question. Mm. Um, how can I overcome a disadvantage of the KDP platform? If you violate the KDP select rules in any way, Amazon can ban you from selling on their site. Even if your violation was on accident, you will have no recourse because they choose who can and cannot sell on their platform. Can this be avoided or is it unavoidable? Uh, this is something that is, uh, you know, KDP has some very strict rules. For example, if they find that you are asking for, you know, reviews are extremely important on KDP. And there are groups out there in the market, which if you pay them some money, you know, they will put in reviews for your books. So if Amazon finds maybe even two months, three months later, that someone is engaging in this, they will immediately block you out. So it's best to play by their rules. When you go in, they will show certain rules. So if you do not violate them, then it's fine. But yes, if if you violate them and see, let's understand one thing. I mean, you know, they are the kings. 80% of the market share as far as ebooks are concerned is, is theirs. So uh, that is something that they will just not uh, uh, accept if, uh, you know, you violate, especially they are very, very strict about this reviews thing. Even if you give review, they will say that it comes up on their uh, screen uh, on the thing after about 72 hours. So uh, they do not put up those reviews immediately. They have their own processing, internal processing. So if they find that one particular reviewer seems to be giving reviews on every particular book, then there's something fishy. So they have their own internal controls to check. Thank you for the answer. Yeah. I will just read out some other questions. Mm -hmm. um, without competition, a company can do whatever it wants to the ebook market, regardless of how it affects authors and publishers. But mm -hmm. KDP has millions of competitive authors. Any mm -hmm. tips to stand out? Uh, yeah, we will look into this. See, basically, let us understand that KDP is basically a printer who is doing the printing work for you. Now, to what extent they will do the marketing for you? That's a different story. There are certain marketing tools when you go into your KDP account. There are certain marketing tools that are available to you. And we will see what it is. But it requires a lot of work. For example, uh, for my book, you know, I have, I have written to people across the world asking for an honest review. So there is a, a lady in, uh, in, in the US, Mary Lane. So she has put up a review. So when she puts the review, she puts very clearly over there. I, I was asked to give a review. This book was sent to me. Okay, so that sort of marketing effort we have to do. That is why we said that all this work is done by traditional publishers. All the entire marketing work is done by traditional publishers. But when you are doing self-publishing, this is something that you have to do, the marketing effort. And a lot of authors find this uh, an issue because generally it is said that market, uh, you know, authors are a little bit introverts. Uh, uh, and marketing is not something that comes easy to them. That's why the publishers step in. But uh, when you are a self-publishing person, the author, you have to do that. All right. And uh, another question. This is a mm -hmm. bit of a technical one. If mm -hmm. I have my own desired font, is there any possible way to upload the .tf font files on the Amazon platform? Uh, see, ultimately, uh, whatever is your manuscript with whatever font that you have, you can upload it on Amazon. Amazon will not stop you. The fonts has to do or the, you know, when I said that you use a particular font, it was not to do, you know, with whether Amazon would prevent you. It is to do with your reader. So uh, 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 when, it, when it says for me, because I am a child, you know, I have written for children. I have read articles wherein the gap between the two letters, you know, V Raj, V and I, Okay, so there are certain fonts wherein the gap between VI is very less. 
so they say for children don't use those type of fonts amazon has no no problems with uh, your fonts all right and uh, i have a question to ask you mm. what is one very important thing you wish you knew before you started publishing uh you mean to say from a, a platform point of view yes not as an author okay uh see uh i think uh, i would say there isn't anything particular everything for me was uh, a learning curve whatever i have spoken now in this last 45 minutes the first book took me one month to publish okay uh, of course if i had known the sizes and how they impact the markets and things like that it would have been because this happened i think for my third book i started out with a particular size and i worked with my illustrator and somewhere along the way i realized this size is not going to work it's just not going to work for the illustrations so i had to redo the whole thing i had to uh, request my illustrator of course i had to pay her, pay her for the work that she had done but we had to redo the whole thing so this was you know that's why i have keep sharpening size 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 because i i i lost a good amount of money with this uh, uh, size issue so you have to be very careful so you have to be able to visualize if you have illustrations you have to be able to visualize how this illustration will look and then i realized that this particular illustration will not fit into a 6 by 9 size i have to have a 8.5 into 8.5 so you have to be able to visualize how your illustration your illustrator also does not know your story you have to give inputs how this is to is this can be actually a little bit of irritation so uh, experienced illustrators are fine but uh, younger ones you have to sit with them and you have to tell no this is not the way it is this is the way it is so size is something that you know if i had known earlier yes thank you for the answer um we'll just wait for another 10 seconds or so uh, if anyone else would like to unmute their mic please feel free and ask questions Uh, so i have a question yeah uh, so i have found the presentation that you've given useful pretty useful mm -hmm. but as somebody who writes and you know knows very little or now has learned a little bit more about publishing mm -hmm. what other work would you recommend i do before i approach a traditional publisher or do self publishing do i read some more do i do some kind of research is there like a guide book that you know follow these kind of steps to avoid these kind of mistakes okay uh, that's uh, the kind of uh, input i'm looking out for please yeah if i just may know what is your genre the one that you are writing uh, uh, children's books stories okay. poems for children right so uh let me just give me a minute if this is children's book if it's just a minute so first of all you have to of course uh, read books on writing but if it is for children this is a book that i would suggest uh writing picture books by n paul and with the four paul okay okay all right and with the four paul so uh what i did was the best way to use these books is something like this i wrote a particular book okay then she gives you seven different things that you have to be careful about okay how you improve so what i do is i take the first thing that she says and i read my entire manuscript and apply all the concepts that she has mentioned in first book first uh, maybe chapter finished then okay. the whole thing second chapter the whole manuscript with the third chapter then goes on so every time you are revising whether it's first person that you want to use second person that you want to use show or tell all this thing that she uses so it will take you substantial amount of time but by the end of it 
you are sort of you know you, you have developed enough expertise so that you know when you write the next book you don't have to uh, go through it uh, you know every now and then having having said that you know there is a fa famous author who sells i forgot his uh, this but he sells about a million books uh, a million books uh, uh, per year and he says this is a particular book i don't know if you can see this elements of style yes yes i can okay. so he says for the last 40 years he has been reading this particular book once every year okay okay so that is that is to sort of you know constantly constantly focus and constantly uh, improve yourself then of course there are uh, you know some of these famous books like uh, stephen king king or stephen king of course writes horror stories but this book is about uh, uh, you know uh, writing uh, on writing how do you write and things like that so you can read uh, you know different things i mean you have uh, books by uh, Ruskin Bond, you have to read if you're especially writing for children. But there are, uh, oh, 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 one minute, plane is going one minute. There are many books on uh, for children's writing, books for children. So you can go through all those and you have to apply. You have to apply everything that they say, not everything together, but one by one. Oh, okay. Okay. Someone has All put right, in the chat box. Someone has put where you can get these elements of style. But I would really suggest that you buy this book. You know, so that it becomes a company you can turn over, flip over, when you go through it. So my question was more uh, technical. I mm -hmm. wanted to know, you know, like like the kind of presentation that you've given us today. Mm -hmm. Should we read up a bit more on the different kinds of publishing? Yes. Or just take the plunge and you know experience it first hand. First hand. That's what I wanted to know. I mean, you thank should... you for the other inputs, but this is yeah. specifically what I wanted to know also. Okay, you, you should. I mean, uh, the first thing that I did was, uh, I think it was last year or the year before that, on Coursera. There is a course on uh, writing books. Okay, uh, it's by some okay. New Zealand New Zealand authors. Okay, so they will put you through all this. They will give you inputs, of course, apart from writing the story and things like that, traditional publishing, how you write a letter to traditional publisher, how do you pitch, make a pitch for traditional publishing versus self-publishing. So you have to read about these, the pros and cons. I sent my four manuscripts to traditional publishers. Okay. All of them were rejected. Then I came to self-publishing. Okay. Okay. One, the next one that I am writing, the fifth one. I want it. I'm not going to try self-publishing for that. I will be trying every possible, uh, every possible uh, traditional publisher for it because I have a certain vision for that particular uh, book. It's a longer book also, like a picture book would be 2,000 words. That would be uh, around 10, 12,000 words. Okay, but you have to you have to read, for example, especially children's uh, authors. You have to read the uh, read the genres technical in terms of. Uh, children's book, you know, the uh, age groups are very small. Uh, toddlers, you know, then 5 to 7, 7 to 9, 9 to 10. So which publishers, for example, if you, uh, uh, I think it was Scholastic. When I wrote to them, they said that uh, this year we are not publishing uh, picture books. So okay. you, have to, you have to connect with them. You have to go to their website, see what they're accepting. Uh, and move ahead. And you have to have a lot of patience. My email came after nine months that they're not accepting. So you have wow. to have a look. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because the standard thing on their website is that do not call us for the next six months. That's that's for uh, and and their wording is something like this. If it's Harper Collins, if I remember, they say if we do not get back to you within 19 days, consider that we are not considering your manuscript. Okay. Because they don't reply individual. I mean, we are lucky we are in India because in India, we can uh, send, send uh, manuscripts directly to the publishers. You can't do that abroad. In UK, Canada, US, you have to, I mean, instead of chasing publishers, you have to chase agents. And those agents, they will yes. work only with agents. We, we are lucky here. Okay. 
so can you just mention the course again on coursera that you meant you, you said uh, yeah it is uh, 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 something with children's literature i think if you can just google later something with children's literature okay Pub okay i'll do or, that i'll do yeah, that publishing with children's literature there aren't uh, many but the all person right, inside right. is thank you sir thanks yeah. Okay, so shall we go ahead? Okay. Would anyone else like to ask any questions before we wrap up? I I think uh, Virat sir wants to show some demo of the KD account. Yes. Oh yes, my apologies. So I will uh, just a minute. Okay, uh, one minute. Okay, I want to show some uh, tabs, you know. Uh, for all this Amazon and all, how do I do that? Uh, in the present mode itself, we have that option saying that a tab. That is the last option, the right, third right, option. Right. Yes, I missed it. Okay, fine. Yes. So uh, this is uh, your Amazon uh, in inside. So I will uh, just let me see. This is one of the books. So if you see over here, okay, now this is the Kindle version. This is the Kindle version. And then this is the paperback uh, version. You can put whatever requirements over here. Now, if I scroll down, okay, so as readers, we were not much bothered about this, but these are all information that you have to put. US grade level, okay, Amazon asks for grade level, reading age, all these things have to be put. We'll look at it when we go in the website. Now, someone had asked me about marketing. Now, this is something that Amazon allows now. It has come in the last few months, which is called as A content. This was not there earlier. So I have put my illustrations with little bit of words. So this can attract, you know, children who are reading it to understand what is it that is inside. Also, all books have this feature, look inside. So if you click on this also,
So the I mean your voice is breaking. We are not able to hear you clearly. So yeah, I had some issues with the uh, internet. No problem. Now we can hear you clearly. Okay. So uh, I was actually speaking for the last two minutes, but I think it was not audible. So I'll just go through it again. Uh, we last heard at the look inside feature. Okay, fine. So. Okay, so now this is the what I was showing you was the was the Amazon dot in website. Now, if you see over here, my Tiger of Karamba, there is the Kindle edition, and there is the paperback. The paperback is here, and it's from Notion Press because Amazon does not print paperbacks in India. Okay. All the authors have been requesting Amazon to do it, but Amazon as yet, this is their own commercial decision for reasons they know best. We do not have. However, it is available in US. So now this is the Amazon.com site. So if you see over here, you have the paperback. So the same book, Kindle version is by Amazon. Paperwork is also by Amazon. Okay. Now this is, if you scroll down, you see over here, product details, your publisher. Now my publisher is Viraj, V-E-E-R-A-J. -E All the information that went in as per my bank accounts, not the way I write, V-I-R-A-J, okay? Your dimensions are 8.5 into 0 0.07 into 8.5 inches. So whichever types of genres that you want to ask, you know, want to, publish that book you can always uh, research this famous books in that category you can look at these dimensions and they will help you with dimensions for your own book coming to 
Kindle create. Okay, so uh, this is this is the KDP uh, page, home page, and don't have an account. You can always sign up. So if I press on sign up. Okay, why is this? Okay, we are a little bit running short of time. I understand that. But this is the place where you sign up. And something that you have to be very careful, which I had mentioned, it will show over there. Do you have an Amazon account login? Or below that will be something create a new account. So you have to click there. Because I said your password has to be very strong. If the password of your current Amazon account is strong enough, you can go ahead. Now I will try to, let me see why it is creating problem. Just go into my KDP account. Give me a minute. I think I might have to stop sharing for a minute. Give me one minute. Okay, for some reason, I do not know whether because I'm on Google Meet, it is not allowing me to log in. I do not know, it is showing some error. Okay, should I should I try? Is that important? Would everyone like to see that, or we can just chat? I might have to leave and try to log in again. Is it important for anyone to see inside the KDP account? I think uh, we can all experiment ourselves. Yes, that yeah. is the, that is the best way to learn. Yes. So uh, basically, when you go into KDP <clears throat> account. On the left hand side, there are a lot of, uh, this is something, just one last thing, let's see if it is possible. not know i think <clears throat> i think because i'm on a meet it's not allowing me to get in because of some security issues or what i do not know uh actually i had tried opening it and had, if i had opened it earlier probably i would be able to present for that i will have to log out of the meet and join in but yes you can go go ahead and experiment yourself uh, that is the technical part, the manuscript and everything you have to do before and then go into it. There's something called as bookshelf. Amazon guides you step by step. At every point of time, if there's a mistake, you can always come back. You can always go back. So you do not, there is no hurry to do that. But most important is, please, uh, I think I might be able to show you this.
so this is this is something uh, can you okay, this is something that you all can use kindle create so uh, i have used this to create all my books so all you have to do is over here press here create new choose and either your what i was talking about reflowable or comics can you all see this screen yes, yeah sir. it is visible okay so if i'm choosing a reflowable book let me choose a file and i have chosen a file adventure of okay and all it is doing is just importing you will just see how easy this is okay cancel import oh, where did it go oh i press cancel import sorry okay so this this is how your book will look this is the book adventure of the shadows okay now the best feature over here indil this is the book you have done all your manuscript everything so on sorry, the right yeah one second amazon doesn't allow you to present or record a, anything online so that is yeah. the reason we are able to see only the black screen right now Oh, oh, oh! You are not able to see this. No. No. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, this would have been nice to see. So, in this Kindle Create, okay, you have features wherein you can check how your book. I told you all that there would be a problem if it's a e-book, if it's a print book. There are features. If you just click on it, you can see how that book of yours will look on a mobile preview. How it will look on a tablet. How it will look on a, a Kindle reader. And from there, you can judge whether your book is looking okay. So, you know, this is something that took me a month. So, trying to compress it in uh, one and a half hour. But there is something that you will have to. things on your own so i think i will stop and if there are any other questions we have to stick to the time also if there are any questions so uh, if you wish you can connect with me on my instagram uh it's at uh, uh viraj govind mahatme v i r a j govind g o v i n d mahatme at at viraj govind mahatme on instagram you can connect and if you have sometimes you wish to ask any things you can uh send me uh, a message over there because unfortunately about fortunately unfortunately about 50 70 five emails uh, a day so if it's a email sent it can just get uh, missed so you can send uh, okay there that is the profile so you can connect with me uh, over there and if you have any issues i know it's a lot of uh, technical thing uh, but you can it's almost it's a, it's like a starting point for you to uh, go in and pro further doctor if i could if okay. i could just come in please uh, my, yes. my name is frederick Uh, yes sir i run something small called uh, goa 1556 uh, okay but i'm not here because of that i'm here because i'm part of the crc uh, and yeah. you know the point i just wanted to make was one point that uh, you know publishing as it stands today it uh, mm -hmm. all these uh, different aspects they have pros and cons each one has its own yes. pros and its own cons Absolutely. but the system as a whole is broken see i've been a traditional publisher for 15 years some of my victims i'll call them my victims are also in this group <laughs> <laughs> I also in this group, like like engineer Alfie Montero, whose book I could not publish, or or uh, okay. or Joe Rodriguez, whose one of whose books I published, and the second book, uh, you know, he he went to someone else. We of course very good friends. That's not the issue. Yeah. But yeah. the point I want to make is that every system has its own flaws. Whether yes. it is self-publishing, whether it's a traditional publisher, whether it's uh, Amazon KDP, 
I'm not yes. discouraging anyone from trying out any. Please try, but keep in mind two things: that we have to find something that fits our needs. Point number one. Yes. Point number two: you know, somehow we need to expand the market for books, uh, for books to surface in Goa. See, because if it's easy to print, it's tough to sell. If it's if it's if it's uh, you know if it's uh, if you're getting a big market to a traditional publisher, the entry is is restricted. So all yes. these kind of problems are there. Mm. Last two points I want to make: the Goa government had an extremely good scheme uh, till a few years back, three four years back, where they would give a grant of up to twenty five thousand rupees. Yes, yes. To, so it could be less than twenty five. Yeah. Uh, which which uh, when you give them a manuscript sometime around April, they would go through it and they would come out with a figure and give you fifteen, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five also for yeah. for to get it published. Right. That helped uh, helped small publishers in a large way because uh, it it allowed. You know, us to bridge that gap between the book, which was uh, which which had come for publishing and which was slightly short of viability in that sense. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, they have changed their scheme, and now you know it was a safety net. Now they made it a lottery where if they if you publish your book and they like your book, they will buy up to fifty thousand worth of copies. But that oh. doesn't quite help. That doesn't quite help because because we 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 need we need that uh, safety net at the at the starting start of the process. No, in that yes. Sense. So yeah, I think yes. Kerala, Kerala had another scheme where they had a cooperative of authors. This is about fifty or sixty years back, and at that time they were managing to offer their authors thirty percent royalty from their cooperative. It's not, oh. it's, it's not as uh, as uh, vibrant as it once was, but a lot of initiatives in Kerala, like DC Books and all, have grown out of that initiative. So we really, this is a serious problem which is facing all of us, because mm -hmm. there are a lot of people who have a lot of ideas, and uh, you know, I think. Even if people, even if my best friend came to me to publish a book, I would not be so confident of doing it because the viability aspect is there. It's Absolutely, not we, it's not that we turn down books, but the delays and you know the dragging of feet and all. People will tell you whoever has encountered us, they will tell you what what they go through. I I absolutely agree with you. When I did this uh, session with uh, this publishing editor of uh, commissioning editor of Penguin, she said that books for us it might look very sharp, sharp you know. Uh, uh, uh harsh she said that as far as books for us it's a profit and loss uh, statement is it going to work because she said we are a commercial organization we are mouths to feed so we look at it from that particular angle we are not interested yes they they said that they do give some space for new authors but then after all at the end of it they have to make money uh, themselves and rejection stories are very famous we all know about J.K. Rowling and Stephen King, yeah. so many things. You know, but that's try out no... anything. The the sum and substance, whatever works for you, works. You know, whether yes. it's GDP, whether it's self publishing. We yes. we found uh, we found some very uh, interesting uh, experiments with crowd funding, where mm -hmm. we, we have a good book, we go to the market and we ask them to buy uh, you know uh, books in advance, which okay. uh, which even Pantaleon Fernandez has applied for his own books and things like that. So so in that okay. sense, that works for us. Poetry is another area where it's very difficult to publish. Very there difficult is no market. Yes, there is yes. no market. Children's books are so important, but we cannot get them into the market. So you know because yes. of all these factors. But we have to try different approaches, and you never know what works. Yeah, there's, there's a there's an author called as Kaur. I forgot her first name. So she has a huge following on uh, Instagram. So when she approached Penguin, they immediately said yes because they could capitalize on that following on Instagram to sell the book. So all these things, uh, you know, different combinations, permutations. You want to say one word on Poti.com, maybe for people who just want to self-publish a few copies, Poti or whatever options are there. Ah, uh, see what happened with. Uh, I'll tell you, you have to be careful. You know, I I went through Notion Press, and then one of my uh, colleagues ordered the book, and then what happened was, luckily, I mean, I was lucky. What book came was a Xeroxed page. You know, Xeroxed. black and white uh, uh, copy so uh, i mean i was lucky that she showed me that this is what it is so ever since that i have put over there you know yes okay good morning yeah okay so uh, ever since that i make a point uh, you know in the book description that this is a book with color illustrations so when i talked to notion press they said that this is some error they have newly appointed a printer of course they were apologetic of, about it but i have sent a message to them that i want this book printed only by notion press not by any of their subcontractors so i, I had a problem poti.com's pricing i found is a little more i put my book through poti.com 
And suppose I get uh, 200 rupees for Notion Press, Puthi.com is little uh, more, maybe 240. Uh, and uh, the reviews of uh, Puthi.com are lesser. Uh, I mean, the positive reviews are slightly lesser than Notion Press. So I, I went with Notion Press. What is this for? Uh, yeah, I mean, if if it's a print on demand, uh, Mr. Norona, you can even order one book. They'll supply you one book. I think I think, Doctor, the dilemma is this: see, offset printing so far has meant that we have to print in quantities of one thousand at the very least five hundred for it yes, to become yes. viable. Yes. Okay. Now, when it when you print in those large quantities, it uh, it gives you a, a bigger leverage in the market. You can play around the price comes much better comes out much yes. better works out yes. better yes. but on the other hand it's it's hard to sell those books in a small market like goa this is our dilemma yes. this is a yes. dilemma yes so 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 what what doctor is talking is about uh, you know kindle ebooks and and maybe even print on demand as a as an alternative to this which has some slight problems but still yes it has its issues but you know uh, it's like you go ahead do it learn try to find out and uh, also this is something very important you know you, you have like if you if the fascination is to see your book in print that's a totally different perspective okay so sundari venkatraman said i think she she went on publishing and i think it was 3 years or 4 years after which she began to get traction so uh, and bird by bird which is another very famous book on writing she sort of began to make money after her fourth or book in children's genre, there's a very famous lady. It's only after she wrote 65 books that she began to get a regular income. So as far as income part is concerned, it's a different story. Okay, you have to be consistent. It's not like one book I have published and yes, that's it. No, you have to choose publishing or writing sort of as, as a career. Okay, it might take, I mean, Ruskin Bond says very famously that, you know, he wrote book, his first book was in UK when he was there for about three or four years. And then when he came back, he wanted to come back and then he wrote books. Okay, then one day he was on a railway station and then there were two boys who were pointing to, hey, Ruskin Bond, Ruskin Bond. This Ruskin Bond said, that's the time, you know, I know, I felt that, yes. I am now an author, you know, I am recognizable. So yeah, it takes its own time to for you to be established because books is discretionary, in, uh, you know, expenditure. Books, uh, except for the diehard fans, it's it's discretionary so that, you know, you satisfy your food and everything, then you'll go and buy books. So why should someone pay for your book? So obviously, you know, if I'm buying a Ruskin Bond book, then I know that I will not go wrong with the experience. But a new author, has to run the race for a longer time before he's getting accepted. So I think we are at eight. So if there are no questions. So first of all, let me uh, thank uh, the organization for giving me this uh, opportunity. Uh, it's a bit technical topic. Many more points are there, but uh, I hope you will go in and uh, keep the dream of getting it uh, published. Of course, there might be some over here who are already published. Pantala was here, he's already published. But those who are new are uh, just trying out. I wish uh, them all the best. Thank you very much, Doctor. I would like to take this time to formally thank you for taking the time to share with us very important points of consideration for both traditional and ebook publishing. There are aspiring writers who have attended this talk, and I'm sure they are grateful for the kind of information that you've given and for answering their questions. I appreciate also that you have told us to have patience with publishers yes. when we choose the traditional route. There are many people who haven't broken the ice with the publishing process, so this definitely helps demystify the process. So once again, I'd like to thank you and of course to thank the entire CLC team for making this happen. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Montero raised his hand or was that accidental? Yeah, someone has raised his hand. There is something open queue. What is that? Uh, yeah, if engineer uh, Montero or Louis Godino wants to say something, please go ahead. Although we are finished, we will listen. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, thank you very much for your wonderful information. It will help us to 
go for self publishing so i will get some nice tips from you thank you thank you sir uh, okay so can i take your leave yes doctor yes thank you yeah. thank you thank so you. much thank you okay yeah you can uh, just uh, message me on instagram i mean if you want to buy you can buy straight from amazon i stay in zwarinagar i have the hard copies with me so if you wish to purchase if you're somewhere around i can send them across to you okay thank you